Off and everybody and welcome to another edition of E-Historiata. In about a week and a half, thousands of people will fill the stadium here at Paseo for the Festival of Pacific Arts. And as we wait for the opening ceremonies, we introduce you to another delegate representing Team Guam. Of the day, I'm Peter Duenas, Chair for the Culinary Delegation of FestPAC 2016. I'm with Mescla Restaurants. I'm also part of the Micronesian Chefs Association, and I'm from the village of Sinania. He gained notoriety several years ago as the host of popular television show, The Outdoor Chef. But Mescla Restaurants Chef Peter will be leading some of Guam's top chefs during the Festival of Pacific Arts. With FestPAC coming up, I think it's a chance for all of us here in Guam and the Marianas to, it, it, I think it'll bring us back to some of our, our customs and our, our culture, things that we kind of uh, forget about sometimes because we're all so busy working, trying to earn a living, support our families, and uh, you know, get by. It, it, we get caught up in the everyday grind that we forget where we really came from as a people and as a as a as a island. And there's a lot of things that will be happening during FestPAC. And all these other countries coming, they're going to showcase their talents. And we're talking about everything from from carving to food to you know to uh, weaving to dance to song you know just all the arts in general it, I'm sure it'll help us bring back a lot of that uh, foundation that we've been lacking lately you know because like I said we're we're, we're Guam is so modern now that our, our youth, you know, they, they don't fully understand how hard it was back then. The electronic age is just crazy, so, and even my own kids, I try to take them to the ranch once in a while, just so that they can get a feel of, you know, not doing something with electronics, just to do something real, something raw, and, uh, and, and food is a big part of that. Food's a big part of our culture, it's always been. You know, I remember growing up and, and still now you can see it, but it's a little more faded. But I remember you go to someone's house, whether announced or unannounced, the, the, the family of the home would go out of their way to put something on the table for you. For Chef Peter, food and family have always gone together. I grew up in a, in a big family and um, my, my, fam my mom's side of the family was really into a lot of big parties, fiestas, uh, again, big family, lots of weddings, lots of christenings. Uh, we had a lot of different huge parties of you know, anywhere between 500 and 1,500 people attending these parties. So there was always a lot of uh, food production happening during these events. And I, I uh, as a seven-year-old, I guess, six, seven-year-old, I was really uh, infatuated with uh, food and how food became good tasting food and so I wanted to know I, I was always around uh, the grown-ups while they were preparing you know from start to finish uh, you, you know from butchering pigs to uh, cleaning fresh chickens to uh, cleaning deer and uh, cows I mean we used to do it all and uh, I was just fascinated with the whole food thing, so I, I, I spent a lot of time around uh, production areas and asking questions and more or less pestering the adults as to what they were doing and why. And I think I, I got the boot a lot of times because I, I was just bothering them, <laughs> asking a lot of questions. But, but that, that's kind of how uh, I became really stuck on the whole culinary scene. And uh, eventually the, the grown-ups got used to me being around and then took a little more time and patience to, to show me what they were doing and explain to me why. But you know, primarily before that, it was, okay, you want to help? Go and come do coconut. There's 50 coconuts over there. Go, go grade it, you know, go husk it and grade it. 
and then um, you know from there I moved on to plucking feathers from chickens and and doing all the kind of like the grunt work you know cleaning fish and and uh, you know my family they were into you know way way back when they, life was a little more simple and uh, a lot of the food that we ate was fresh. His passion for cooking as a child led to culinary school. It was kind of like in my family, it was always kind of said that, oh, that, that kid's gonna be a chef one day. And then it, it actually happened, came true. So I went to a formal culinary training in San Diego, California, and uh, got my degree over there. And I worked in several properties in the mainland, and then I eventually came to Guam and started my my foundation here as a chef and worked my way from the bottom up and and uh, worked for quite a few really good places and then eventually decided to do my own thing where Mescla started. And uh, prior to that, I guess uh, we, I started a show called Outdoor Chef and, and uh, many people here can remember it really evolved on natural resources and turning that into more of the cooking side. Uh, so it was a two-part show, one outdoor, one culinary, right? So, um, and then that's where Mescla idea sprung up and said, hey, let's do something local, let's do something for Guam, and uh, let's give uh, locals and visitors alike a, a chance to taste how great Guam food is. And, and you know, that's kind of where we, we uh, evolved from. Chef Peter opened Mescla in Agania in 2009 and later would open Mescla Dos in Upper Tumon. Although this isn't Chef Peter's first fest pack, it will be the first for Guam. Sharing our arts with each other and sharing it as islanders it's just a, it's a very unique thing and with the other fest packs I mean we're a lot of times we were so busy uh, immersed in the things that we were trying to do while we were there that we kind of didn't take so much time out to to enjoy what else was going on at the same time but we did get to see quite a bit of the stuff and uh, and again very similar uh, sharing of, of uh, arts with all the different islands. I mean, of course, everyone has their own styles, but I think it's great um, that we're doing this, great that Guam is hosting it. And uh, I think it's, uh, we have a great venue here. And when we uh, do our thing, we're, we look to showcase the, the beauty and the flavor of our food here. And um, at the same time, uh, relate to what else is going on and and have others relate to what we've got going on and and um, to basically let each other know that we're all on the same ocean we're all in the same waters we're, we we do what we do we, we deal with the modernization but we're we're keeping hold of what's true and important to our heritage and our culture Stay tuned up next on eStoriata, we'll introduce you to another culinary delegate ready to mix things up during the Festival of Pacific Arts.